American Stage continues its 2016-2017 season in search of America with the comedic, revelant Tartuffe by Moliere. This updated production lampoons society, politics, and its search for an American idol, asking the question, how do you recognize an impassioned visionary from a cunning con man? Joining me today are cast members Ned Averill Snell and Kelly Picard. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? Well, Ned, welcome back. Thank first you. off, I'm so excited to see you guys because truly, this play really is timely to mm -hmm. say the least. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell us a little bit about it because it's an, actually an adaptation, but really current. Well. It was a very smart choice on the part of the artistic director at American Stage, Stephanie Gillard. She wanted something for this part of the season that would tie in well to the election season. And of course, uh, Tartuffe uh, has a long history as, as a play that is about how easily we come under the sway of uh, a charismatic person, sometimes someone who will do us harm. And so that's what, part of why it's been so popular for so long and why it ties in very well to a season like this. And she commissioned Robert Kaisley, a marvelous, marvelous playwright out of Idaho, to adapt Moliere's play f to a modern setting, so it's played in modern day now, but also to, in some subtle ways, tie in with the election. Now, it's not about the election. There's no Trump character, no Clinton character. It's not that but it gets into some of the themes of the election. There's little nuggets in there, little quotes from what's going on, from what we've all heard the last year. And to be honest, we were a little nervous going into opening about how people were going to respond to that, because people are a little touchy right now, yeah. in case you haven't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> the audience just goes crazy for it. They love it. Every tiny little reference to, to the, the election they hear and they, they tie into and they love. There's a marvelous scene with Kelly and Ricky Wayne, the marvelous, marvelous comic actor who's playing Tartuffe. Uh, that's a very, very famous scene where Kelly's character is trying to convince my character, who's her husband, that Tartuffe is not the guy he thinks he is, that he's a bad guy. So she puts us together in a room and hides Oregon, hides my character in a very funny way and tries to show that Tartuffe will try to seduce her in a family-friendly way. <laughs> there are moments in that scene that's so beautifully played by Kelly and Ricky where he drops in little, little quotes from the election that everyone's familiar with. The play practically stops. The audience is laughing so hard and so long. <laughs> And it's such a joy. It's so much fun for us when we know the audience is having that much fun. This play is a blast. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, you're talking about the audience having fun. I mean, Kelly, so many people are kind of like over the election in some ways. Yeah. So being able to be on stage and kind of, you know, I don't want to say poke fun, but kind of yeah. have some fun with it, that's going to be great. I think it's a really beautiful opportunity uh, to give people the gift of catharsis, hopefully. You know, it's been such a dark election season, I think, in, in so many people's minds and to, to show up and, and give them permission to laugh and enjoy themselves um, I think is a really great opportunity so I've got to ask when it comes to the script and that first time you were reading it how much uh, how much has changed really in 400 years because I mean that was when the uh, original play was written correct me if I'm wrong 350 years but yeah. I mean that's kind of like crazy to think that there can be similarities drawn between well the themes are eternal it's about themes of family. You've got a father who's trying to tell everybody else what to do, and you've got a, a wife who's sensible enough to know that they shouldn't do what the father's telling them to do, and you have a charismatic con man, and these things are eternal. We've always yeah, had these I mean, things. stories about loyalty and ambition and family, mm -hmm. I think, are pretty timeless, and we were lucky enough to uh, have the playwright with us, actually, for a bit of our rehearsal process, which is so the, the, the fellow that adapted uh, the play, and so having him there to sort of, you know, listen in and address changes in the moment and and I really enjoy the process of, of constantly digging and working and, and refining, which we were doing up until the very end. So yeah, that was very exciting. Tweaking the script until opening day. Yeah. Uh, cool. He's a wonderful, and he's a very funny playwright. And you have to remember, too, the play was written in French. So first it has to be translated from French to English. And then you have to make whatever changes you have to make to adapt it to a modern setting. But he's managed to preserve the story and the characters and even some of the rhyming couplets. Not all of them. The original play was written all in rhyming couplets. Everything rhymed. And he's kept a little bit of that and a lot of the rhythm. Well, I was going to say, it seems like uh, I'm hooked already, laughing already. There's the information if you want to check it out for yourself. Of course, we're talking about the American Stage Theater and Tartuffe. There's the website and phone number for you to get tickets and check it out yourself. Thanks to the both Thank of you. you. Thank you so much.